So this is Lisa. Well, it's Lisa. But the thing, the interesting thing about this game is it was originally a RPG Maker game. It was titled Lisa. You played as a girl named Lisa. I don't really understand the idea of it because I never played it myself. But I guess it was it was fairly successful, and then the dude who made it opened a Kickstarter for this game, which is called Lisa the Painful. And then the original Lisa was renamed to Lisa the Beginning. So the stories tie in, sort of, not really, kind of. But, like, you don't need any real information from the first game to play this game. So, yeah, I never did. And that's the origin of Lisa. With this game, when I was first ever saw it, it was described to me as, like, similar to Earthbound. But, like darker humor is it lisa the first uh, uh well okay well one or the other either way lisa the first lisa the beginning so i've deleted all my save datas uh I, i'm pretty sure this game has controller support but the control stick and d-pad don't work on the menu so if i have to troubleshoot right out the gate so be it we'll see let's uh let's begin the game A game by Dingling. I'm not in the Discord. You little thief. Interesting. So none of the... None of my controller inputs are registering, despite the game having key gamepad support. That's weird. Wonder why that is. Uh Hmm. Perhaps I need to configure it. I hate when I have to do this. Uh, all right. It's like double focus, I guess. All right, watch this. We're going to open Steam big picture mode. Whoa! Wow! Now I'm gonna enable controller support right after I find it. Uh, <laughs> I like that little marker that says it's controller compatible, and I just, uh, I just, I just can't find any anything for that at all. Controller support disabled. Why? No. Enable. Configuration support for Xbox One controller is disabled. Xbox must be supported. Support must be enabled in Steam's main controller settings. And, huh? Excuse me? <laughs> okay. 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 So, you can play it on a few different engines. Are two different engines. One's legacy, one's better controller support. We'll go with legacy. Still no, still no controller support. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Let me try the other one. Play it in the other one. Hey, that one has controller support. Look at that. And it it doesn't capture. Oh. Got it, never mind. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Can I leave big picture mode now? Cannot exit while game is running. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what? Whatever. What the hell ever, dude? Well, it is called Lisa the Painful after all. Dingling. You little thief. Stop. Stop. 
Leave him alone. Shut up, Brad. He stole our ball. I stole it. Rick didn't do anything. What? You little bitch. Idiots. Let's go, guys. Thanks, Brad. Oh, I can move. I'm sorry. You didn't have to cover for me. Sorry, Brad. Sorry you got beat up. The dude? Yes, it is. Buttons will make more sense later, I suppose. That's weird. Whenever I press the B button, he turns around. Ah, Bradley. When are you gonna learn, boy? Thank you, Ivan, for the resub. I don't remember where to go. I guess just keep going. Good end. Olaf. It's perfect. It's perfect. Once again. My son steps into my house. Beat the shit. I'm not buying you another shirt. Worth the shit, kid. Go to your room. Now. It's locked like always. Game don't play. You took some joy. What the hell? Uh. It's okay, little buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. No, it's good, it's good, it's good. We're good. Here we go. Good baby. Come on, little buddy. Let's go get you somewhere safe.
This is all prologue. That's all it is. This is Brad with his full head of hair and massive beard. This old hairy bastard. These are the boys. Brad. What is that? Holy shit. Is that a baby? Yeah. Whoa. A baby? Where'd you get that? I don't know. I just found it lying on the ground. Jeez. This game is fairly long, to think about it, but that might also be due to me, like, going everywhere and, like, losing fights over and over again. <laughs> Dudes, wait, you know what this means? This means there's a girl out there. Whoa. That means there's hope for humanity. Whoa. I bet she's super hot. Totally. Guys, this is serious. Is it a boy or a girl? I didn't check. It's a girl. Wow. We need to tell someone. Rando, if we came to him with this, we'd be set for life. All the food and cool stuff we want. Dope, dude. That's actually not a bad idea. The rando army would be better equipped for something like this. No. No one can know I have her. She's a baby now, but she'll be a woman in no time. She wouldn't stand a chance out there. Brad, that's insane. You'll keep her a secret your whole life? Do you know what would happen if anyone found out? I don't care. I'm keeping her. Brad. I don't care if you guys help me or not. I'm not gonna give her up. This is my second chance. Jeez, Brad. Don't worry, little buddy. I won't let anyone hurt ya. Very to the point. But it is lengthy. Don't worry, it'll 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 make you laugh. It'll make you laugh eventually, but we gotta we gotta go through the gotta go through the story first here, alright?
Hey! You there! This wild beast won't leave me alone. I'd slay him myself, but I pulled my groin climbing this tree. So give me a hand, will ya? Whoa, my friend. Don't leave me hanging. Alright. Hit him with the Armstrong style. Cheese legs. So I can do... I can do whatever I want. Whatever one... Let's see it. There's no controller support for this. What the hell? Are you kidding me? There's no controller support for this. Alright, now understand something. I have to save before I exit to fix this, or we have to watch all of that over again. Never been a problem before. Yeah, I gotta manually set it up. That's fine. Are you gonna be some kitty? feel anything from that bread. You're pretty tough for a whacked out midlife crisis looking ball guy. You seem like you can handle a lot of pain. Like maybe you could handle some kind of pain related difficulty setting, huh? Am I correct? No. Huh, that sucks. Anyway, I would have helped, but I, I like said I hurt my H string. I'm Terry Hints. People call me the Lord of the Tutorial. I've been traveling the lands, leaving my hints for all to see. I'm a pretty big deal. Got a lot of fans. Wait. You seem pretty lonely. Since I'm a nice guy, I'll keep you company. Cool, it's settled. What a horrendous noise. Terry Hintz joined you. So this is, uh, I've talked about this before. If this balloon wasn't here, you would walk off this cliff and die. This balloon just saved your life. So yeah, I guess the story with this balloon is... When, when people are testing the game, they get through that 15 minute prologue and <laughs> walk left and just died. They just walked off the cliff and died. And then since there was no save point after that point... <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, right? <laughs> the reviewer... This game got a zero review from some publication because of the balloon not being there, and the reviewer didn't want to restart. <laughs> Bottles. Bottles can be very useful. You can sell them, fill them, make fire bombs with you, or even just throw them in battle. Just pick them up! So yeah, in pain mode... In pain mode, those things explode. So allow me to quit the game real quick. And exit. Leave. Leave big picture mode. Okay. There we go. And then let me just uh, let me boot it up normally. Okay. Now I have to change what it captures again, but I have to manually set this up because controller support is nothing but a big bat fucking myth. That's all it is. You get one save per, uh, oh, that's, yep, that's all right. You get one save per uh, save area in pain mode, so you need to be smart about it. So since I don't, I can't plan that far ahead, I'd rather not. Okay, <clears throat> let me make, uh, let me make this. I really didn't think I would have to do this because... These games are supposed to be okay on this front, you know? So, let me just, let me just do it, I guess. Please be patient. I don't remember which buttons even really do what, so I might just change them on a need to, need to have basis. 
I'm going to set the buttons up to be WASD on the controller the same way they would be on the uh, pad. So A button will be X button. That'll be easier. I don't think there's any urgency to it or anything, but at least this way it'll make sense, I guess. And then button two is D. And I guess that should be everything. I don't really know what <laughs> consists in this game. Oh, I need a Z button as well for confirming things. Uh, can you set the same button? No, you can't. You can't have it do two things at once, huh? Or maybe you can. Z. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. This is a new feature. Ah. I think I just solved it. Oh yeah, I solved it. Fuck yeah. Haha. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I did it. Saving. You can save your game by consulting a crow. Somebody's got to remember you. Jumping. When you're standing in front of a short enough ledge, you can hold the up button and then press the space bar to jump. And hold down, hold the down button and press space bar to drop down. Try it out. Well, it says space bar, but Zed works. Walk off. Walk off? No. Nah. Caution. Be wary of Terry's good looks. They are dangerously appealing. Always looking out. Tear bear. Oh, Terry. Oh, Terry. Resting. If you find a campfire, you can rest. Your party will be fully revived, but be careful. You're vulnerable when you sleep. Anything can happen. But what choice do you have? Sweet Terry wine. I'm alright right now. It doesn't, I, don't, I don't need to heal. You can only go up tiles of... Uh, one. We're still in the prologue, alright? We're still, we're doing alright. And now... It's looking good. Secrets out, Brad. She's gone. Sorry, guy. There's something I gotta do. Alone. What happened? I can't really tell you. Come on, bro. This looks serious. Someone close to me is missing. I need to find that person. That's really all I can say. Oh, shoot. That's sad, dude. I figure you'll need someone to protect you. I don't. I'll tag along, I guess. Considering I'm a very strong warrior. <laughs> Darian's joined you again. I'm glad I have Terry on my side. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Found a rusty knife. He's dead. Picture of the sky that Buddy drew. Picture of Buddy's uncles. Ricky, Rick Sticky and Cheeks. A picture of a happy family. Alright, hold on. Sweaty wristbands, itchy poncho, and dead flower. Who can take the knife? The Hint Lord sweatbands. Terry's childhood sweatbands. Cheetah jersey and diary entries. Can I do something with the, the knife? It is a weapon. Don't use this on your dinner, you'll get sick. Make can cause poison. Alright. So there's joy. Drugs that make you feel nothing using a pinch. So those are a big thing in this game. They're, uh, they're cheat items, but uh, I'm not going to use them. Because I am a good boy. Alright? I'm a good boy. I gotta have one more. Just one more. And then I'm off the stuff for good. Where's the... Is there a run button? I don't remember if there's a run button or not. Hmm. We Happy Few came out like years after this. I'm still not even sure what that game is about. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Damn. 
He's holding something. Found Diet Coca-Cola Cola. He's dead. Nice. Really pretending. 3 HP. 200 SP. Okay, okay. There's another procedurally generated false advertising. No, I need more. I need more information than that. The only thing I know about that game is a friend of mine was really excited about it when they first like showed off stuff of it because there was like, oh, it's like it's gonna be like Bioshock, and the the, the intro is like, oh shit, you, you, the 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 town is actually like they're on some crazy drug that makes everything they perceive to be happy, fun, joy, joy, but it's not actually the case. Combos. Some characters can use combos in battle via the WASD button. Additional special attacks can be performed by entering a specific combo in your skill menu. You can find out how to do special moves by looking at the button sequence. Example, WWS does buster punches. Does that make sense? Sure. Out of my way. I want that little bitch all to myself. The man. Buster punches. So yeah, I can, I can do them... By special moves, or I can do them by inputs. WWS. Walter Stingray. Hints. Gives an enthusiastic chant. <laughs> For 40 SP? Goodbye, <laughs> Terry. Oh, Terry. Oh, Terry. I had the wrong button, but that's alright. I hit the wrong button again! Oh my god. I'll get it. There we go. Hmm, what if I... What if I... Do that. No, so if you do, you have to do the combo right away. Okay, I get you. This game uses a lot of default uh, RPG Maker sound effects. That's why they sound familiar. <laughs> this old salmon swimming downstream tonight. I am the Lord of Hints. The Hinsters moving on up. All right, well, I am uh, critically injured. You know what that means, right? Nah, we're fine. Just gonna move on. I'm fine, I'm fine, we're good. He's dead. Welcome to the caves. I can't believe it. Such an ugly girl. He's dead. The man had a hole in his chest. And he was missing an arm. That's mystery jerky. And wouldn't that suck? Lose an arm. He's dead. Who isn't dead? Uh. Hold on, hold on. Now Terry's got it. Alright. He's got it. He's good. He's dead. Hey! I'm not dead yet, you prick. Come here so I can kick your ass. That's right, tough guy. You fell right into my trap. Jeffrey Coomings. I think he'll be alright. Bro, how do you do- how do you miss yourself with coughing up blood? Ah, god damn it. <laughs> Here's a hint, you suck, I rule. <laughs> Welcome to the game. Welcome to the show. Oh, hold on. I can get that. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get it. He's all right. He's, he's good. We're fine. I I don't I don't know if Terry like does anything spectacular. 
that was not spectacular. Found a secret stash, 50 mags, not bad. That said, I am now critically injured. I don't see a way to heal either. <laughs> Mystery jerky, if I fall there, am I gonna take damage? Time to test it. 10, that's not so bad. Okay, worthless damage. They're just magazines. Nothing suspicious about them, they're just magazines. That's all. Nope, no problem here. Alright, man. I'm gonna stay here and block the entrance. You guys go search around in case she's already been through here. You got it, boss. Sugar Boy Drifters, out. Good. He hits it hard, incredibly hard if he hits level 25. Oh. Really? I definitely didn't keep him around long enough for that, then. <laughs> I pretty much just replaced characters when uh when I get new ones to see what they could do and then pick my favorite. Can I fight you? Am I in the right? Can I beat you? Now I can. I have the utmost confidence in my ability to win. Is this a joke, bald man? You think you can handle what's going on out there? Hmm. I'll give you a taste. Can't really make a sugar mountain. Verbal bash. You use disparaging words to upset the opponent. They can either make them cry or get pissed. Let's go for it. Terry is being hurtful. Oh, I pissed him off. <laughs> He's a lunatic, watch out. Try again, make him cry. There you go. Oh, he hit himself. Okay. I'm pretty sure crying is blind, yeah. I'm not sure what pissed is. Damn it. Hopefully she's already dead so I can see her in hell. Oh, we're good. <laughs> Got bomb blasted. Right, I'm good. I'm good. So you either roll. So basically it's swagger. Yeah. Okay. I get you. It's looking pretty good out here. here. We're, we're all we're all having a good time Status ailments. This is a game that Fuck this is a game that status ailments like actually really matter because everyone is susceptible to it all the same There's not really any like thing in the game. that's just like no you can't do that. They're a boss enemy Holla holla if you hear me Really needed to get that off my chest He's dead well Chad, if you gotta go, at least get something off the bucket list, I guess. How you doing? They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. He's dead. How about him? He's alright. Everybody is merely pretending. You got a worn helmet. Okay. Um, can I give it to Brad? Who, who can I give it to? No, no one. Very well. They're dead. Wait, isn't there only one guy there? Oh no, there's two. You suffered serious damage. Yeah, I guess I did, huh? Time is a great teacher. Sadly, it kills all its pupils.
Howdy, motherfucker. Our past hath crossed yet again. Do you remember our time spent as we lads? I do. Fondly. My heart just tumbles with joy thinking about it. Like your head in a dryer. Normally you'd be dead and stripped of your wares by now. But, I like you, Brad. Let's have some fun. I shall to give you a choice. Your yellow-shirted friend's life, or all of your belongings. Choose wisely. What will you give us? Well, chat, I can forfeit Terry. You'll never see Terry again. Or I can get rid of all the items I picked up, which includes, like, a handful of scraps. Mm, items are precious. Remove Terry. <laughs> Chat, why are you so split? I'm only losing basic items. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather keep Terry. I, I like uh, I like having party members. <clears throat> the tutorial master. Um, I'm gonna. You know, what? I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna keep him so you can get the full experience of Terry yourself. Hmm, how boring. Alright boys, strip him quickly. I hear a tale that a female is on the loose. My loins ache for some excitement. Off we go. All of your stuff has been taken. All of it. Gone. But at least I have you. Ugh. My head. Whoa, you look like hell. You okay, dude? What happened? Um, we got hit by a truck. It was some old friends. Everything's okay now. Damn. First my hamstring, now this? You're a bad omen. Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's all good, man. I don't mind. I like hanging with, out with you. Terry Hints. <laughs> Joined you. Again? <laughs> Amazing. How much are you allowed? If you don't pick anything up, could you like go back and grab it all again? I never really thought of that. I never really thought of that. Like how, how far back are you allowed to go to grab all the stuff? Because I could, reasonably, I could ignore every drop and then just come, like, backtrack for it. But it doesn't matter that much. Should have healed more, though, before that. I forgot that was coming up right there. <clears throat> I don't know how good the items are, though. Alright. More enthusiasm. Terry's back on the team. Enthusiasm. See? He was bursting with it. Did that hit you? Nope. Sure didn't. Because I'm bursting with enthusiasm. <laughs> Alright. Equipment's not that great. No one can even use it. Hmm. Is he dead? Ah, well, it's up for debate, really. Uh, Brad. Brad. That was barely a fall at all, dude. All the money, though? That's true, I did lose the money. Oh, hello. Seems like a storm's brewing around here. You look tired. Are you hungry? If you have an empty bottle, you can have some of me soup. Also, if you need rest, you can use my tent. Now, this is my friend. Rest here. Soup guy. Yep, he has a tent. And you don't have to, you don't have to worry about the RNG of getting whacked. Seems like a storm's brewing. This is the best character in the game. He shares his soup, he shares his tent, and he asks for nothing in return. If that isn't the hero. Whoa! Holy heck! Status effects. Alright, here we go. Pay attention, chat. Write this down. This is important. Holy shit. Alright. Cool pick, huh? Artistic. 
So we got scared, stops you in your tracks. Wary, slightly increases defense. Weird, reduces defense and attack. Stun, knocks you out temporarily. Cry, obscures your vision. Rage, increases critical hit rate. Pissed, makes you go berserk. Drunk, strong but slow and dumb. Hangover, reduces everything. Stink, makes people avoid you. Cool, regenerates HP. Depression, makes life suck. Oiled up, makes you flammable. Withdrawal, hurts you all over. Joyed, makes it all better. The world can be saved, find her. Bobby Diddle. All right. Oh, Terry got a crit. My intestines are in disarray. Sick drops. All right. Hold on. Just gonna go over here. Hey pal, you okay? What's wrong? Getting sentimental, brother? Uh, no. Just asking. Uh-oh. Here it comes. I'm closing my eyes. Good night, Olaf. Uh, bye. Lucas gave his final breath. Okay. Game. Oh. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. He's full of halls. You can do this. Watch, watch this. You can do this. <laughs> Congratulations! I think you've broken my neck. And to think, I was supposed to ambush you. How the tables have turned. Now, uh, you don't get any EXP for that. I, I kinda want the, uh... I kinda want the EXP. But yeah, you can, you can do that. That was a really good fight I gave up too. He barely did any damage to me at all. Not that it matters, I can go heal at the, the tent. Alright, I'm gonna do it again. Just wanna just wanted to show it off. Just wanted to show it off. <laughs> it's this is the, that's the nature of this game. Really? Like, this game has so many moments that are just like, oh, Jesus. But then it also has moments. It also has moments like this, where it's just like, alright, cool. Two damage. Not bad. He threw a firebomb. That did a lot of fucking damage, dude. That's fine. Ah, one more turn. Congratulations! I think you've broken my neck. Is Terry alright? Well, he's currently on fire. Well, don't worry, because there's soup guys over there if I ever need a, a pick-me-up. So let's just take a look around first, shall we? See, each area is uh, kind of done up in a different way like this. Ow. See the red skulls? Means Rando's army is taken over. Which sucks. Because the only gasoline within miles is in there. How the hell am I going to make firebombs? He's dead. And so everything is broken up into areas. Like, like little hub world areas like this. And you got to do all the different objectives. Which get you to let you progress, basically. You could always break his neck afterwards. Well, he's already dead at that point. I think you broke my neck. Amazing. 
Leave. Take your pervert war elsewhere. I want no part in this. <laughs> I forgot about him. Yeah, I don't remember that character at all. The chicken man. Ouch. 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 Brad can't take a beating. Clearly. Oh, God. <laughs> Tommy, don't play with matches. How did you even get those, sport? Give them to... Oh, shit. What do you want? Looking for a child. This is my orphanage. All these kids have been abandoned. I'm taking care of them because no one else will. Why are you... Uh-oh. Tommy? Haha, <laughs> now look what you did. It's okay, sport. We'll get that put out. Hey, could you hand me that bucket of water? Dude, could you hand me that bucket of water? You got the bucket. You fool! Not that bucket! That was my gasoline bucket! That bucket! Get that bucket of water, quick! going Jesus I'm going you got the bucket I made it we're gonna be okay you were too late this is the second most tragic thing to happen in my life huh well Look on the bright side. I I don't have a bucket of water. I picked up the bucket of water. So there's, no, there's there's no reason to do any of that. By the way, you gain nothing by doing that area at all. <laughs> nothing. Nothing is gained. Nothing is lost. Well, actually, I'd argue quite a number of things were lost. Take some soup. I would like some soup. Empty bottles are used for a lot of different things. I like healing items because I don't like dying. And I don't need weapons because I have... Hmm. You suffered a serious head injury. Your SP has decreased. Your luck has decreased. He's knocked out cold. I don't even remember where I saved. <laughs> I... The kids are fine. Look, I, I, I went back in time and now the kids are fine. But now I need to go get a bottle again. It, it was supposed to be safe. I've never gotten hit across over the fucking head with a baseball bat before. What did he even gain from that? I've never seen that before. Leave. I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, look on the bright side. Now, now Brad is not going to show up in that cave and the kids are going to be all okay. That guy's most tragic experience. Well, don't worry. Don't worry about his most tragic experience because now it no longer matters. It's the only tragic experience of his life. So let's do that again and hope that doesn't happen because I genuinely do not remember that ever happening. Okay, good. <laughs> God damn it, man. I know I've used that heal spot many times. What are the odds? Someone, Someone's gonna have to tell me the odds because I know I've used that heal spot tons of times and I've never actually, did, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Less than a hundred. Well, yeah. I can tell that much. Ten magazines. Not bad. So you saw that. Uh, that's withdrawal. 
So Brad has this thing where he goes through withdrawal symptoms from the uh, the joy item, and when he does, his uh, his attack drops to basically zero. So he can only do damage through special attacks. So Brad becomes more of a liability than anything in the game whenever this happens. He's not the only character who's affected by it, by the way. But not every character can't only the only characters that can be affected by withdrawal symptoms are characters that have taken joy themselves. So that's the trade off to using the item. I don't think I can get over there. No. Oh? What? There... There's nothing there. How, how are you doing? How you doing? Smooth. Ah, uh, Jesse. Yeah, right, dude? His neck looks a little... bent, I suppose. Withdrawal can wear off, yeah. It'll wear off after some time. I don't really understand the how it works though, but it does. Oh. There's something on his roof, but I don't know how to get it. Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about Olaf and what happened. Many tales would you like to hear? Yes, I totally care. Hmm, I wish you were more enthusiastic. Oh well, I'll tell you anyway. Let's see. All right, it all started with what I like to call the Flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on lemon tea, sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Or, wait, maybe she bought it from the store in a bottle? You know, like a plastic bottle? Well, hold on now, that would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea, then transfer the contents into a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe so she could put ice in the glass? But then again, making tea homemade would be just as time consuming, if not more. That sneaky bitch. Anyway, I'll save that story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet lemon tea from a glass, of course, <laughs> when suddenly, a great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I lived many years, and I've never felt something like this before. Do you know what it was? Yep, it was my rocking chair. That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. So I looked down and realized the little rock had caught beneath my chair. A rock under my rocking chair. What a day! I decided it was time for bed. I had my little bit too much excitement for one day. <laughs> I slid into my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. As I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work out 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? Now my neighbor at the time, Tom Forknight, <laughs> was very short. His wife, Karen Forknight Plateburger. Yeah, one of those women. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I'd say she was a soft six, whereas my wife was a hard four. What's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Anyway, my horse of a wife, God rest her soul, crawled into bed next to me. She decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of those romance novels again. Give me a break. As if I didn't already feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, now I have to deal with these fictional hunks. Ay ay ay. At that point, I had already suppressed the urges of intimacy, rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was only of minor annoyance. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. Jeez, you're kind of smothering me. I'll talk to you later. Did everyone get that? Does everyone understand what happened now? Alright. I can tell by the way you're walking away that you don't you don't want to leave. If you really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. <laughs> Once upon a hot summer night. Sometime in July. Was it July? My local grocery store sells really good eggs in July. 
I don't know why. Do chickens operate better in heat? Fireworks, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to get off topic. Point is, the eggs that summer were marvelous. Anyway, my wife and I, God rest her soul, went to the barbecue that night. It was held at Dale Spooner's house. Well, his backyard. Connie Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just an uptight bitch. So at this barbecue, I see none other than... That's right, Tom Forknight. Now earlier in the day, my wife, God rest her soul, had made potato salad for the barbecue. Personally, I hate potato salad. I'm a mashed kind of fellow. <laughs> So I sat in the TV room avoiding her till the barbecue. Once we were at the party, I made sure to distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife. God rest her soul. I just didn't want anyone to think I would associate with someone that would bring a potato salad. Anyway, Tom and his uh, above mediocre wife were already there. And get this, they brought, the, they brought a fruit salad with whipped cream. The nerve of those fork nights. Needless to say, I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple choice words about whipped cream versus potato salad. Son of a bitch, a real tongue lashing. You're kind of smothering me, I'll talk to you later. All right, everyone got that? We're gonna go now. Goodbye, Nern. Well, hello again. Funny seeing you here. What are you, following me or something? <laughs> anyway. I often wonder what all happened here. What was that big flash? Why are we here? Even our night and day cycle is odd. Sometimes days last ages and nights come rarely. And the, these clouds, so strange. What's happened to our Earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a real kooky day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally I don't indulge in adolescent publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard the new artist on the radio, Ulysses Utensils. She's some young woman, maybe a boy, I don't know. Either way, that child can really grasp my attention. So I'm reading this magazine because I saw Ulysses on the cover. I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or woman. But as I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. I look up to see that there's some water damage. You'd think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than his patient's comfort. And his, uh, assumably big house and hard-bodied wife. I wish my wife was like that. Big ol... Melons. Just then, a droplet of water <laughs> falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail to it all the way to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, my attention is caught by a small child. The child was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly stared directly at my feet as to not aggravate the child. And when I noticed something, that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Golly, I'm all revved up after these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're a bit of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got many a tale to tell. Nern Guan joined the party. There you go, chat. Just like he wanted. He's now permanently of residence. Topics. Tell your friends some of your favorite techniques. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> very good, very good. What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? He's a hero. God rest her soul. Oh, what? Now, it would be real awful if I accidentally died and had to go talk to him again. Wouldn't that be- wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be funny? Welcome to the bar. I have little interest in scandalous magazines. I'm just looking for a stiff drink and good memories. It's all this world has to offer anymore. Buy him a drink. You don't have enough mags for a drink. Being drunk in battle will increase your strength, decrease your hit rate. All in all, getting drunk rules. How many mags do I have? Uh, 14. Yo! What's happening, my man? You got a couple mags for me? I'll run with your pack, brother. An energetic ex-pro wrestler known for his devastating headbutts. El Rage always puts the battle first and his health second. He has high speed and attack but somewhat low defense. He wants 70 mags. I can't afford that. 
He's just getting hyped up, that's all. Now we're in we're in good town. This is good town. See? Everything is great here. There's no need to be concerned about anyone. See? No concern needed. It's just a normal everyday house. You deal with it. I'm okay. I'm okay. Ah. Found a leather poncho. I can actually equip that to Brad. Ain't that nice. seem like it. No. Then how do I... No. How do I get in that opening? Brad can only go one step. He's not very athletic. Clearly. Whatever. BR. People think it, this some girl is some kind of godsend. That ain't so. It's gonna tear us all apart. Listen here, brother. I got a stack of magazines with your name on it. I just need you to get me a refreshing bottle of liquor. I'll do it myself. I do it myself, but I'm all washed up. Still gonna get trash, brother. Potato liquor. Help an old man out. But if you give me the money, I'll go buy you the drink. Isn't that what you want? Buzz off. There's nothing on the table. Don't mind Eagle, he's a bit of a prick. I see. There's another soup guy. So this is one of these areas where you can use a campfire and then sometimes your party members get stolen and held for ransom. And it's really annoying so I just restart the game whenever I get that event is it lame sure honestly I'm happier now that the world has ended it helps that my wife and kids aren't here how do you beat that level of optimism seriously oh hold on before I go before I take a dive in aquatic mine, what do you what do you got? Try buying something from me, I dare you. Shag poncho, dainty shawl, drab tank top. Can I sell anything? Uh no, I'm good. We're good, we're good. Wee! What the hell, dude? That hurt. What a rush. That was great. Take this. Got a bottle of perfume. <laughs> well, his neck didn't break. The other guy loved it. He loved it! Now this screams area. Oh. Who's this strange man in the polo? Hi. There's an abandoned building just down the way here. My friends and I are playing some cards in there. I just stepped out for some air, but you should join us. Well, hi. Gun. There's a tra yeah, traveling merchant. He's, he's got a he's got a dresser on his back. All right. Mm. 
W2D. What's it mean? Cigarette? Okay. What does it mean, chat? Dojo. Widley too deadly, the composer. Oh, I thought it I thought it meant welcome to die. Welcome to Bill Muhammad's Iron Tiger Karate Center. Would you like to learn my Iron Tiger technique? It won't be easy. Sure. First to test. See that cliff over there? You must fall off of it until I think you've proved your worth. Speak to me when you think you've proven yourself. Okay. Eh, not impressed yet. Keep going. <laughs> you remember that episode of Spongebob? Where Patrick's looking for his Valentine's Day present? It's on top of Mount Climb up and fall off! I too take my inspirations from fictional aquatic sea mammals. I don't know if a star- no, starfish isn't a mammal, it's a starfish. Aquatic sea creatures. That's the better thing. If this was Sideshow Bob, there would be a rake involved. Are you impressed yet? Not impressed yet. Keep going. I don't know how much damage I've taken, but I'm starting to get a concussion. This can't be healthy. Not impressed yet. Keep going. Jesus, dude. <laughs> he'll 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 give me to me eventually. He'll give it to me eventually. Watch. That was it. That was the game winning jump. Well done. You've proven your power. You go to karate scroll. Make sure you read it. How do I do that? It's written in English. It can't be that authentic. Increases defense. Okay, well, obviously give it to Brad because he can't leave the party. <laughs> I have learned! Alright, let's go play cards. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart today. Joy down in my heart. How about you? Oh, it's you. Your heart seems unhappy. Let's cheer it up. You got some joy. Remember to take care of yourself. I'll check up on you soon. The door won't budge. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks. Don't worry, we'll never see that guy again. You can, uh... You can sell joy for mags. I know that. I'm not gonna use it anyway, so I'm probably just gonna probably just gonna sell it. Yeah, I get 30 mags for that. That's a good deal. <clears throat> we got the joy, and so do you. No, no, the actually the guy with the carrying around the dresser, he's the one with the joy now. Alright, so I have enough, uh, I have enough mags to buy that dude a drink, but I need 70 mags to, uh, recruit wrestler, dude. Um, I think that's everything here. I don't think there's anything else I can do at the moment. Uh, I could buy another drink for that dude. I'll probably do that as well. He just wants some alcohol, so I can... 
I can get it for him. Why not? Oh, what have I done? Give me potato liquor. Oh, it only costs five. That's fine. Okay, yeah. I'll buy one of those. A little interest in Scandalous Magazine. Just looking for a stiff drink and good memories. It's all this supposed to offer anymore. You bought all in a drink. Fantastic. So what's your story, bald man? I'm looking for someone. Seems a lot of people have been doing that recently. Anyone specific? I should go. Hold on. I don't want to pry into your business. But you got another thing coming if you think you can do this on your own. A war is going on. You're gonna need allies. Besides, I owe you a drink. A generally reserved man, he handles his bow as well as he handles his liquor. Superbly. Sounds good to me. I look forward to our travels. All in Huit. New friend. I have recruited a full party of people before I've like had a... I haven't actually done a battle in a while. I'm getting ready for it, that's all. I regret not leaving those 50 mags alone before I got hit by the truck, though. <laughs> Where's the dude who wanted the potato? He must be further this way. I really wish I could run. He must- he's in there. I got him, I got him, I got him. Right on, brother. Here's those greasy pages. Game potato liquor. You got 50 mag. Whoa. I'm one short, you bastard. I'm, I'm one short. Dude, the amount of backtracking I gotta do to recruit that guy now. <sighs> I mean, I'll put him on the team. He does damage. <laughs> or dairy, anyway. I'll come back. I'll come back. Surprise attack, unsuspecting kick to the groin causes stun. All right, that's fine. Verbal bash, inform, tell your friends of your favorite combat tips, increase SP. Charge attack against one enemy. Wait, what? Herbal bash. Discuss techniques. Power. Big Pancake Norton. You just shoot him, why not? Luna oh no. No damage. Oh wait, Rich Jaw's gone at least. What's the surprise tag? DDA. Okay, DDA, DDA. Uh, guess who forgot which order WASD is? Oh, he's crying now. That should be fine. GG. Ah, God damn it! Finally. Why does he have so much HP? There we go. I did it all for the Nuki. Damn. Oh. He dropped a mag. That's good. You know why? Because now I can go recruit wrestler, dude. I got him, I got him, I got him. I'll, I'll talk to that abomination in a second. Allow me to, uh... Yeah, come on. Now we're getting somewhere. Alright. Chat, who do I ditch? Who do I ditch? Be real with me here. 
cause Hmm. Terry? Terry? Nern? Nern? Terry? Nern? <laughs> Terry? Olan! Incorrect. He he does damage. Nern doesn't do shit. <laughs> you you really want me to bring Terry with me? All right, all right. I'm gonna replace. There we go. I'll replace Nern with Rage. Okay, I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna save and I'm gonna fight that, uh... Where's the save spot? There it is. I'm gonna fight that dude. It's not much HP. And the campsite's a decent way away. I didn't use, uh... I didn't use the wrestler in my first ever playthrough of this. I used the original four that you saw there. I only know what the wrestler can do because I went and recruited him after the fact and got the achievement. <laughs> was done with it. <clears throat> I'm on taking a walk, taking a walk, taking a walk, taking a walk. How you doing, dude? Bash. Punkert. Head rush. <laughs> Who's fighting? Uh, oh, God. It was WUA? <laughs> Motherfucker did zero damage. It had no effect on him. Surprise attack, DDA. Form yourself, Terry. DDA. AAW. AAW. Terry does more damage than Rage. WWA. Ah, I got the stun. All right, I'll just go for the go for the raw attacks, I suppose, to make it go by for. Verbal Bash doesn't do anything on this thing, and I'll just head rush and then big shot. Attack. I don't think he really has a groin left, so I don't know about this. And now I need TP for big shot. Shit. Oh, got him! I win! Drop kick and fire. I just gained a fuck ton of EXP. <laughs> Knuckle drop and cheer. Missile headbutt running splash. Bomb arrow. Cool. Two joy and zero mags. Not bad. Found trash bag shawl. Who can wear that? Shawl made of a trash bag, it produces a stench. Can I give that to... I guess I'll give it to the wrestler dude, since it seems to greatly affect him. Alright. Okay. Well, that went well, didn't it? I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to win that, I guess. But I did. I just got a... He got one bad move in there, and then I, I stunned him. It doubled his defense, which is great. So allow me to go and heal. 
Why was he doing zero damage, though? That's the question. He's supposed to be combat man. Oh, we're good. We're good, and I have some joy now. I'm gonna save joy to sell when I need money immediately, because I know that holding money in this game is not a good idea. Rage is a weaker version of Brad, where his basic stats do low damage, and overall combo does a bigger number. But he's undertuned. Feels like it, that's for sure. You found a cigarette. Nice. Shit gets real weird around here, doesn't it? Turn back. Strong men only. I'm strong. You found some fancy perfume. Snake. Mm. Head rush. Missile headbutt. Running splash. W A S D for missile headbutt. Okay. W A S D. Snake bit. Uh, hit him with the C D A. The snake bears its fangs. I like the attack where he just falls. Neat. Is he still poisoned? Yes, he is. To revive. Full revive. Bottle of soup. Joy. Heals poison. Is poison gonna go away? Uh, it doesn't look like it. It's fine. That's fine. Wait, do you have a move? Do you have a move? It gives a restorative chant. Tell your friends SP. Skills, knuckle drop. A momentum-based fist punch, a poor maneuver. Cheer yourself up. You're not feeling so good. Okay. Ow. I don't know if you can st stun a snake. Okay, Terry's got moves. <laughs> it's amazing. Cool pose. That's fine. Man laying in grass. What are you doing there? Drop kick, surprise attack. Just keep doing surprise attack. Cool pose makes you feel like you're cool, but you're really, really not. This is fine. What did I do wrong? <laughs> I suppose I didn't need to do that at all, but he was there. I gave him the whole nine yards too. I, he was not, I was not playing with him. Here, cheer me up. Why was he laying in the grass with a bunch of poisonous snakes anyway? That did not do enough. Damn it. I thought he'd die from that. 
Excellent. There's a campfire that I will not be touching because I have... It, the outcome is bad that I'm in trouble. Can you use your hints? You can't. Look at its smile. Disgusting. I've watched this beast kill dozens. Yet at this moment, I can just sit here and stare into its eyes. And if it stare, it just stares back, smiling. But you want to kill it, don't you? You'll need something explosive. Firebombs, perhaps, and some good men. Then you may stand a chance. Uh... I don't have firebombs. Well, I'm gonna have to come back to this. Terry is free to poison. That's great! I'm so happy for you, Terry. I don't have firebombs. It takes extended damage from fire. I know that. I could probably beat it up. But... I think I'll deal with it later. Hmm. I'll deal with it later. I hope the snakes are gone. You can't escape. Bro, it's a snake. It's a- it's a fucking snake. Don't give me another one. I know there are a few enemies you can grind off of. It's the ones in the caves. The suspicious shadows. No! I was so close! Well, never mind, I got away. Brad has been knocked out, but don't worry. He's, he's still hanging in there. He's currently walking on zero HP. Brad can't die. Well, I mean, he can die, but Brad can't die. He's fine. Yeah, I grinded a bunch of, uh, I grinded mags in the second spot. For, uh, the different items and stuff, so I could recruit the, the guy who wants 500. What a bastard. And then, uh, I was gonna get the playing cards to the magician, but I, I gave the dynamites to the, the dudes, and, well, I know how that turns out. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I did it for mags, not really EXP. Because I needed mags for stuff. Where am I? Uh, I think I need a bike for this. Hello, Egghead. The girl's just up ahead, she's in the old clubhouse, but those pretty boy pricks kicked me out. So now I'm just gonna kick the pretty out of you, prick. What did I do? Booker Clinton. Terry, give him a knuckle drop. I just picked the move I remember. That's it, really. He is currently stunned. Nice. I'm unsinkable, like the Titanic. Well, look on the bright side. At least when he goes, he'll go before anyone gets the chance to correct him. And that is true bliss. <laughs> Time to climb the mountain, dog. Oh, I made a mistake. I 
I should... I should probably have the bike for this area. Maybe I should go fight the dude first. Ugh. Well, whatever. Don't even think about trying to make that jump. You're way too fat and dull looking. Just get a bike, dude. Lose a couple pounds. Oh, now I've done it. What's the quickest way down? I ask. Alright. No problem. No problem. So I do need that bike, which means I do need to... I do need to fight that Joy Mutant. The other... There is still the other cave, though, to check first before I go and do that. I don't think anyone in this game is capable of being nice. Except for Soup Guy. Soup Guy was okay. I liked him. Yeah, here we go. Weird, dark cave time. Can you still see? I can see. Shadowy figure. You can kind of, you can make out its outline when it flashes red. It's not really huge for EXP, but it does drop mags. See, that's actually a decent amount of magazines. And they're grindable. These, uh, these dark areas are grindable. Bring her to Rando and he will give you the world. We're gonna get that high level Terry option. Hi. I'm getting real scared. Yo. Where are you going? Get over here. Hey, Porky, leave him alone. Randall doesn't want to start and shit for no reason. I said get over here. Now. You got any business here? I'm I'm just passing but I'm looking for someone. No shit, cowboy. Everybody's looking for her. I'm asking you why you're here. This is Rando's turf. I don't want any trouble. Just get out of here. All right, asshole. Oops. I don't want any trouble. Immediately starts trouble. Uh, machine gun fist. It's W A W A. Wrong guy. There's one. How did he throw a fireball? I guess he is Mystic Pete. loud. It only really picks up in the battle, though. Alright. Cheer for yourself. Hoops Jardine. Explosive error, okay. Okay, Hoops Jardine is down. Lance Gravies is down. And now we beat them beat up Mystic Pete. Well that was easy. <laughs> hey 
Hey, they, they, okay, they started it. You done fucked up. <laughs> they weren't, they weren't all done. Oak Tree Steve. I got him. Verbal Bash. Hit him with the... I got it, I got it. There's two guys here in pain mode. Oh. Didn't know that. Got the stun. And he's crying. Okay, what? Well, I, I got rid of his turn at least. Wrestler dude's pretty good. The immediate raw damage is great. School's out for this kid. Well, that was good. Look at that. Horse stance. Empty bottle, perfume jerky. Gee, I sure hope I don't accidentally walk off a cliffside and fucking die. Wouldn't that be bad? Nice. Horse stance recovers SP, I know. It's a good move. Oh, game! Some good old fashioned cave music. That's all it is. There's so much variation in areas in this game, it's crazy. Oh. 12 magazines. Some firebombs. That's great. Like, you go, the main area is like, okay, it's, you know, it's just like generic looking wasteland area, and then every other sub area is a spin on it in a different looking way. This game has a lot of really cool environments in different areas. And they all kind of like work together with each other. You need to go to each one to get different parts to progress to the game. It's a well-structured game in my opinion. Pain mode's lack of saves is the biggest reason I don't want to touch it. Like I can deal with I can deal with the height and difficulty for the most part, but like the fact that you can only you 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 basically have limited saves is a piss off. Once you use a crow and and when you use a crow in pain mode, the game blows it up. And once it blows up, you can't use it again. Uh, there seems to be a dude down there. I don't like limited saves either. It's a more... In a game like this, it's more obnoxious than anything, so I wouldn't bother. My name's Treats Needy. I'm a treasure hunter. Rumor has it this cave has some sick loot hidden in it, but I just can't find it. I'm assuming they're talking about the fire bombs that I found. In which case, that's fine. Like, pain mode has extended lore, which is cool. But this game can already be a massive pain in the ass as it is. Because it really is a game of status elements. <laughs> so when you play on a high higher difficulty mode... Play on higher difficulty mode combined with limited saves. Just like, oh great. Made a bad save, you do a lot of progress. I love this song. Reminds me of my youth. This is the perfect moment. I hope nobody ever comes and ruins it. Why why do we have to fight? B Swanson. We don't have to fight, dude. We can talk this out. His radio is in front of him. I'm behind him. Nice. Yo, Terry's punch though, kind of, kind of legit. Headbang. Good night forever. Ow. 
Here I am. But you know I have to pick that up. I'll, I'll just... It's okay. That's okay. You want to be smart about your saves is one thing, but it's more like if you make a bad save and then you have to do like three stretches of bosses in a row before the next one, and then it's just it kind of becomes a battle like that. I was never a fan of ink ribbons in Resident Evil for a similar reason. I understand the appeal of limited saves. There's a dude. I knew he was coming. He was not very well hidden. Skip Dreamer. Okay. Like, he realizes he's outnumbered. Like, mm. uh, I used to be really bad with saving. That's for sure. Please don't mess with my corpse. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say it's a good challenge if you know the game well enough. But when it when it comes to when it comes to these kinds of games, I I saw what you did over there to my boys, and I don't want none of that. I'll tell you something good if you just leave me alone. All right, tell me. Hairspray is very flammable. What? That's good advice. People with a lot of products in their hair are flammable. That is great advice. We had a deal. We did have a deal. We had a deal, chat. Have to honor the deal. <laughs> honor the deal. Nah, don't honor the deal. That's EXP for Terry. That's what this is. Trips Breezer. I never wanted this. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's juicy EXP. Look at that. Look where you live, dog. Look where you live. This is the way of the wasteland. He had so much EXP. Hey, 222 EXP is nothing to sh uh, sneeze on. It's, it's a decent amount of gain. Remember, t we're working on Super Terry. I gotta keep him the whole fucking game. You bet your ass I'm gonna give him as much EXP as humanly possible. I have now realized that I am stuck here. Good. What was I saying? Right, so these types of games, you know, you have limited saves, you, you're expected to strategize better and be just use them better. Use your saves better. But these are the kind of games that once I play through them once, I don't have much of a desire to replay them immediately. And I only really want to replay them when I, it's been a long enough time between playthroughs that I start thinking like I want to play that game again in which case I don't want to touch the uh, I don't want to touch the higher difficulty mode because I don't fully remember the game itself just get the fly and I win I know I know the cheat code how are we doing right now we're doing great oh I've been in here I'm not entirely sure what my purpose is here at the moment Hmm. There's a dude there. Turn back. Field generator to make fire bombs. That makes sense. Someone mentioned that. Yeah, you go to the Randers, Randos territory to get gasoline. Someone in the game mentioned that. Hey, how'd you find us? You must be a pretty smooth guy. I like that. The worst thing about there being no more women is that there'll be no more kids. Is that the worst part? Is that truly the worst part? I like how the ambient music definitely sounds like it's coming from somewhere in the cave. 
Don't mind our boss. He inherited this gang from his brother. And he thinks the name is lame, so he acts tough. But we're harmless. What gang? Am I not in Rando's place? Oh, this is an inn. Oops. <laughs> Wanna sleep here, buddy? I'll watch over you for ten magazines. No way, creep show. You don't know me. For ten magazines, I can heal. I thought about it. I thought about it. We are the schoolboy shufflers. Mess with us and you get the slip, pal. And I ain't talking detention. <laughs> wow. I'm honestly surprised you even found us in here. You must be really awesome at adventuring and stuff. Hmm. Tell you what. Rando's army has set up camp here to find that girl. They've cut off our links to the outside. If you can clear out all of Rando's guys in this area, I'll let you pass. Beyond this point is the only generator within miles. It's loaded with gasoline. And you look like the kind of guy that sniffs gas. So this is right up your alley. How about it? You're mean to assume. Yeah, whatever. You'll be back, you guzzler. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the rando guys. Rock and roll. I think there's about four guys roaming in the caves around here. Come back when they're all dead. Did I not kill everyone? Uh, well, okay, so look look at it this way. So that guy that I made the the deal with he had to die no matter what There was the guy on the right. Yeah, I, I could just kind of ignored him to come in here first Which I shouldn't have done Yeah, this guy Day spa Henning all right All right, dude Getting the st oh he I, th I think he's asleep. He didn't attack. He evaded in his sleep. What? Oh shit! He's awake. Guess I can take a longer nap now. <laughs> he was a boss. <laughs> he dodged in his sleep. It's incredible. All right, that should be everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay the guy to heal, just for convenience, because I have a lot of mags anyway. So I'm gonna do that. You gave him 10 mags. Fantastic. Rise and shine. Want to sleep here? Well, I already did. I really should consider the height distance between me and the floor whenever I do that. 10's not that big a deal. Wow, you actually did it. Well, see ya. Use the gas in the generator to make a fire bomb. How many bottles do I have right now? I have 10 empty bottles. It's empty. Well, that solves that dilemma, doesn't it? Uh, your choices are limited. Yeah, 50 damage. I think that's everything. All right, so now I should just head back and get the bike. Could have gone through the hole, sure, but that's slow. I'm trying to move fast. Look how fast Brad walks. You think I got time to navigate all that shit again? No, oh, thank you. It is so easy to accidentally kill yourself by just walking into that. Hmm. All right, now we beat the shit out of whatever this is. Sods. Nice. 
10 mags is really good. I mean, it basically just refreshes what I spent. Quick and easy. Have I been everywhere so far? I need the bike, I know that. So this way to the car, the bike. All right, through the snakes again. Or, oh yeah, of course. Uh, I'd like to just run. If I, I'd like to save my HP for the boss. I don't know how much HP he has. Oh, fuck. Jesus. The first snake is inescapable, but every snake that comes after it. Oh, my God. Okay. What? What? Jesus. Don't do it again. That's annoying. All right. Charmy. So he's weak to fire, so I guess fireball works. I don't know if surprise attack works. DDA. DDA. Nothing works on him. Uh, tackle rush. Sawed. Okay. Sawed. W-A-S-D. Nice. How do you miss a target that big? Salt. I just gotta remember. What does what? There's the stun. Okay. Do it again. Just do it again. I'm not gonna throw the fire bombs unless I really, really need them. There's another boss later on that's affected by them too, so I think I might save them for that one. Uh, keep cheering them on. Music when fighting these things is very unnerving. Like it's very, very clear. It's very clear that these, uh, whatever the hell this enemy is, it's not normal. So the music doesn't even try to pretend it's something that you just did see in the game. That's what makes it so good. All right, drop knuckle drop him. Knuckle drop him. This is taking some time. Oh, we're getting there. He started crying. Okay. Do not look a gift horse in the mouth.
He's probably beefy because the game uh, the game wants you to use fire bombs here. Pretty sure fire bombs do a fuck ton of damage. Let's just keep going. Oh, no one can move. I don't remember the input for fireball. It's done. Nice. All right. Hit it with the fireball. Hit it with the big shot. Okay. Still good. Still good. Wrong button. <laughs> Forgot Terry. What if Terry gets the last hit? Wouldn't that be something? done okay I don't know how much damage I've done at this point but as you can see the <laughs> this boss is definitely intended to have fire bombs used on them Brad has become angry. Doesn't matter. Juicy. Two whole levels. Hype up. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Hmm. Poor thing. I feel bad for it if you want, dog, but... You found a child bicycle. Access it in your key items. Dismount the bike by pressing shift. I don't have a button mapped to that. Where... Shift. Oh, my mistake. The left shift. Or not. What? Oh, you press shift to dismount. It should just be a hotkey. All right, I'm on a bike. Good. See you later. There are no snakes in the grass. No snakes in the grass. And they don't give much of anything 
they're they're just in the way. Oh, they're in the way, all right. Whoa, uh, oh. A turn Jesus All right We're fine There's something I can do with the bike I think You suffered a serious head injury. Yeah, that head injury started when I clicked new game. Why does he even do that? I don't understand. Why does he do that? Yeah, the bike lets you clear one tile. Let's try that again, shall we? One more time. Try another. Yeah, he's not even here for the fucking soup. Th what? Have I... Have I made a mistake somewhere? Okay, no it is random, but that just happened three times in a row. Okay, let's see, so what can I do right now? Which door was the one to Nandon's house? Cause I'm pretty sure I wanna go there first. Oh, I can do this, right. No humans allowed. Squirrely man. Hype up. Send raging vibes to your friends with three awesome words. Increases crits. Okay. Only Terry didn't go last. Rage is good, right? I still have control over my options. I do. Okay. You don't think you can stack stun, so. Well, that's fine. Oh, he fell over. I don't know what that means. He's trying to get up. Okay, so it's like stun. So, yeah, rage on characters like this, where they have multiple hits, can actually turn the, the little hits into something big. Why is he so tanky? Wow. I don't remember what I was doing. I like fireball. Tackle, capable of knocking, okay. That's what I want then, DDW. 
DDW, okay. DDW. Wow, okay, so that's better than the, the other one. Any, any day now. Yeah, you, you can't knock over, couldn't knock over the joy mutants, but I could still stun them. Jesus, that took forever. Beastborn reluctantly joined your party. What? No! No! <laughs> Alright. Crab battle. Squirrel jerky. I am... I am sorry. Oh. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. It's all a great big misunderstanding, I swear. Oh, whoop. Okay. Mm. Now, there was something I needed to do with this bike somewhere around here, right? No, I'm still not quite sure how to get up there. Because I see something there on the, on this rooftop. It looks like I can jump from somewhere with the bike. Hmm. I'm not sure what the beast man does. I don't think I ever used him. It's a pain in the ass to beat. He's a tank. That would make sense because how fucking hard it was to beat him. And there's the withdrawal. There's somewhere I can go. Right here. Secret stash, 60 mags. Wow. Pretty good. Seems to be it, though. There's nothing up there. Hmm. He requires effort. That's a pain. Hmm. I don't think there was anything over there. No, I can't. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know how to... Oh. Hello, old chum. Want, me to, want to invest in my wonderful product? It's really worth your time. Give him 15 mags. Wonderful. You got the trust for suckers manual. Pleasure doing business. Trust for suckers. A manual on trust. even use it. It's a use item? But what does it do? <laughs> what the fuck does it do? It doesn't specify anything. That's the joy stuff. Just trust it. Uh. Hmm. T 
Did I miss something? I don't know if I trust it. Drunkomania. Oh boy. It teaches you a lesson on trust. Alright, I'll use it as a save point in case I hate it. How do I get... How do I get up there? Am I missing something here? Am I missing something here? seem like it. It looks like there's something up there. Hmm. Alright, well. Just have to go to... Have to go to the, the hair club. No problem. Alright, I'll do it. Trust is for suckers. Trust is for suckers. You're an idiot. The end. I don't... That didn't really like that. I didn't like that at all. That wasn't very good. Leave. Was that worth it? For 15 mags? Uh, well, I guess. It depends who you ask. You know, if you're asking me, it was totally worth the money. That's rando, so this is the way I have to go. I, just just give, me a, give me a good old hit of that copium, and I'll tell you it was a good deal. Alright, does that sound like a fair trade? Pump some water. You got a bottle of dirty water. Contaminated water, try throwing it at your enemies. Oh. No, I don't want to do that. Now this is, this is pod racing right here. This is what I'm looking for. Yeah. Now I'm going to use this bike to mountain climb. This is so totally not going to work. You call it old, you called Brad old and dull, but he's doing he's doing ollies and shit up the mountain here. It's it's pretty impressive. Look at this, this technique, this control. Ten megs. No problem. <laughs> Don't even think about trying to make that jump. You're way too dull and fat looking. Barrel bros. Watch out for these guys. They won't stop rolling or anything. Slow feet means dead meat. All right then. This is this is good music. I like this music. Now, surely the enemy in the barrel is weak to falling over. I was correct. One mag. That felt unnecessary. Okay, no problem. I'm sorry. Oh. oh. Sup. I thought you were someone else. My pal Jim told me I need to stand here and stare at the sun for a while. My eyes started feeling tingly, so I stopped. Boy, I would got a real whooping if he caught me cheating. Oh well. Guess I better get back to work. It was nice to meet you. He gave you a tissue. He's staring directly into the sun. 
The ultimate for drying your tears when you have an issue. <laughs> Why did he have voice lines? A, a door? Oh. Hey, Brad. Rick should be home soon, I guess. Just, uh, do whatever. Okay, thanks, Shelly. Honey! I'm home! Oh, hi, Brad. You're early. Have you started dinner, hon? No. Oh. Well, I told you we were having company. Uh-huh. It's okay, Rick. I'm not that hungry. No, no, no! It's a no problem. We'll order takeout. How does that sound, sweetie? Uh-huh. Great! Where's Junior? Who cares? Oh, that's right. He's probably doing his homework. Such a bright young man he is, Brad. I bet he can't wait to meet you. Well, anyway, I better get washed up for Din Din. Boy, that was tasty. I just love these little cheese things. Junior! There's my little guy. Say, Junior, why not join us? Fuck you, old man. Whoa, slugger. Let's watch those swear names. Hold on, champ. Did you ask if I could leave? He's a great kid. Richard. Yes, my love? I'm going to watch TV. Okay, honey. Alone. Oh! Yes, dear. Come on, Brad. Let's go have some beers in the backyard. So I got this new mower the other day. The grass is looking... Ah, never mind. You alright, Rick? I don't know, Brad. I wish my life was more like yours. You don't know that, Rick. I'm pretty stupid, Brad, but I'm not that stupid. My wife hates me, and my son. That's a whole nother story. My job sucks. My whole life's a joke. Well, it's better to have somebody rather than nobody, I guess. I mean, look at you, man. No nagging wife, no kids. You teach martial arts. Your life's awesome. <laughs> Don't forget about me. Well, that happened. Hi. I'm Mad Dog. I've lost my spiked club. That sucks, dude. I like big butts. They never lie. <laughs> Amazing. Welcome to a man's fantasy world. I fucking hate my life and everyone hates me. I found peace in knowing this. Everyone left to go after that girl. I used to be like that, chasing women. One woman, actually. Sneaky, cheating bitch. Woo. Keep moving, buddy. Oh, I wonder who those characters could be. <laughs> Life's hard after the world ended, you know? You never know what's gonna happen. Damn, I'm thirsty. Doesn't that suck? Rain poncho, elite pads. Porch jersey. Nah, I'm good. Thank you, strange green bean man. Hmm. Here I am. Found some fire bombs. Now I'm in a dank cave. Really, everything's just coming up Millhouse right now, huh? Look at this extremely convoluted uh, lineup. Wet stick. It's a damp lip stick. All right then. Amazing. I've done a few rolls on the banner. Yeah, I, I got a, uh, I got star. But so far that's about it. I would like frog, and I have the resources for frog, so I'm not too concerned. So I will get frog when I need it. Hi, Mike. Olivia. Hey, what? 
Give me all your diary, dirty pages, and we won't totally destroy your little town. So, your magazines? How about it, Mike? <laughs> Give me your mags? A fuck right off, Mike. Not the given type, eh? It's okay. I'll change your tune. The boys. The squad. I'm gonna destroy Crack Ripper first. Verbal Bash. Louis Headliner. Hide. He did a lot of damage. No effect on him. Tackle him. We'll drop him. Rapid shot, volley of arrows, okay. Shit. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. DDW. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this isn't happening. This is not happening. Can you? Beat these guys? I mean, you probably can, but... There's really nothing I can do here. He's way too strong. <laughs> Fire bombs. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, it hits everyone, yeah. Alright, new plan. Party's dead. Pay up now. You're not getting off that easy. You don't fuck with the road scholars. I don't know what else he took. That's a firebombs fight. Good thing I saved them. Because they're not going to let me leave unless I give them my mags. And I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. I might. I don't live here. You can go destroy the town of... You gave away all your mags. We'll be on our way. So I made a mistake and button mashed. So now we're doing it again. Can't live without those dirty pages. Take three. How about it? Fuck right off. Alright, so this is where we press firebomb four times, yeah? Firebomb. 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 That's great. They have so much HP. Just just keep chucking them. Nice. Dead. I'm just gonna keep chucking them. Defend. There you go. 
That is an absurd amount of XP. <laughs> All right, good, very good. And just like that, they're gone without a trace. But I am critically injured. Now I'll tell you what the plan is. The plan is to return to camp. And when I return to camp, I will be okay. That's all. That's the whole plan. That's the whole plan. I don't think I ever fought those guys or won. I know I fought them before. The first time they, they, they whacked me, I was, I was pissed. I was so upset that I just, you know, I just reloaded the save before I walked in that cave. And there we go. No bonk, we're good. Uh, beast born. Shield whip. Man raised by animals, you become a companion due to your display of dominance. Cool. But I like my team. My team's got a team of winners. <clears throat> I mean, the thing is, that entire area is optional, so you can come back way later in the game and you could probably handle it without notch issue. But like, in that situation, once you enter that place, you're you're forced to do the fight. Uh, let's see, two and a half hours. Uh, we got one Kefu chapter to do. Uh, I'll get to the next uh, save crow. Okay, yeah, I'll get to the next save crow up over here. Odds are there'll probably be one for the next area. I was actually hoping to save the fire bombs for that fight. But this is acceptable too. Alright. Just beat the shit out of these guys. doing damage. He's got a gun. <laughs> the power of this barrel and gun I found. This feels a little bit excessively violent. Oh, what can you do? The fact of the matter is I can kill them before they hit me. So I, oh, that was weird. So I lose virtually nothing. Oops. Hmm. So I accidentally mashed into an input. <laughs> so that happened. It's only one move though. All right, we're good. Oh, there's still more. So chat, when I get to Keifu, I'm going to try... I'm gonna try for the, the recruitment objective. I, I, I'm gonna... It's not gonna go well, but I'll try. Amazing. I was given info on it as well, so all I really have to do is put my best trinity up front and then call it a day. And I'm sure I'll be fine. I really hope the last few chapters of that game are good. I really do, because the further in I play, the more I, I think about how that game would be on a higher difficulty. There are so many dudes. Oh, 
this is some extreme violence. Hmm. Oh. Oh God, I can't keep doing this. He gave up. Well, you know what? Him giving up means he gets to live, so. Call it a victory. Oops. Everyone lives and dies. Ah, wah, wah. Okay. Hold on. They have some really good control of their barrels that they're not falling off. I saw something over here. You see that? Whee! 500 damage. Terry is at 6 HP. But check it out. Fancy perfume. You got a spiked club. He's got a tattoo that says MD Jr. I don't know what that means. Look at that. Oh, he's Mad Dog Jr. Ah. Found your club, dude. Hi, I'm Mad Dog. That spike club you have belongs to me. May I have it back? Thanks. Mad Dog joined your party? Oh, I have a new friend. Mad Dog. A boring man, it's hard to tell what he's capable of. He sure can take a hit, though. He's got a nipple patch. All right, no problem. No, no problem here. Although now I'm injured again, so I'm going back to the campsite. There you go, I gave him a spike club and now he's a friend. Hmm. Yeah, fall height, uh... I don't know if certain fall heights are enough to kill you, but they do you do take quite a number of damage from them. And of course, if you die from the fall damage, you die. I wish to know what his problem is. That's all. Hmm. There's two spike bats? Oh, didn't know that. All right, this is a good stopping point though. I was gonna go to the the end, but I forgot about that whole little mid quest there, so. That's fine. That's okay. We're good with that. Hmm. You can try out the, uh, try out the other character next time, I suppose, maybe. But that's Lisa for now. What a weird game. What a very, very weird fucking game. And not even close to finished either. There's there's gonna be a lot more in it. So trust me, it's it's gonna be a journey, to say the least. <laughs>